You have a chance to weigh in on a proposal to combine the CTA, Metro and PACE into a single transit agency. State legislation was introduced in the spring. There are several public hearings scheduled on the subject. The first held just this morning. Our Noel Brennan was inside the committee room and joins us with more. Noel. Well, Marie, this was the first of six hearings focused on the state of public transit. Leaders from the CTA, Metra, and PACE testified this morning, and each of them made it clear they don't see merging as a solution to the financial challenges that they face. It was a crowded room inside the Belandic building this morning. These Senate committee hearings come after legislation was introduced in May. The so-called Metropolitan Mobility Authority Act would replace the Regional Transportation Authority, and it would combine the CTA, Metra, and PACE into one agency. Riders would pay one universal fare regardless of how they travel. Well, right now the RTA oversees budgets for those agencies and the RTA faces a $730 million budget shortfall in 2026 when federal COVID relief money dries up. Leaders of those transit agencies testified today arguing that governance is not the issue. They say they need more funding, which will in turn boost ridership. We all want to do the best job we can. I do not believe that combining us into one organization will make us better. What I know hasn't been adequately addressed is the fact that the funding that's been provided for public transit has never, ever aligned with the governance that was put in place. Just this afternoon, it was announced that PACE will receive $30.9 million in federal funding from the U.S. Department of Transportation. PACE will use that money to buy 25 hybrid buses to replace diesel buses. Still, PACE and the other agencies expect to face that fiscal cliff in 2026. Reporting from the newsroom, Noel Brennan, CBS News, Chicago. Noel, thank you.